All right, we're here in Pilot Point, Texas at Chad and Susie Chance's home of Hoof Watch. And we're teamed up with the WCB to make videos for the how-to for the live shoeing for Harriman, Utah. That's our judges, uh, Justin Fry from Cross Lake, Minnesota. And he picked a roadster, a plain stamp roadster, caulk and wedge with a toe clip for the specimen shoe for the live shoeing. They have to do that with a, a plain stamp shoe on the foot. It is a right hind. It's a caulk and wedge. A couple things that make this unique to itself is not that other shoes aren't, is it's got a straight inside leading edge instead of a round dome. It's a, a, a toe clip and these are E5s. We want to have the wedge and the heel cock be approximately the same, the same height. This shoe measures five by five and three quarter long, five inches wide. I'm not going to mark the toe because whenever I make a roadster, I go a third, a third, a third. So I'm going to go, this is going to be cooled off, this is going to be cooled off, and the center third is going to be hot, regardless if it's a left or a right. What this does is it puts more bump in the lateral toe so I don't have to remove a bunch of material on the medial toe. And that, therefore, I don't get the medial toe all pointy and miss the medial toe. And then I'll narrow up this edge to get the outside edge thicker. Got an inch in there. So I, I, when I brought my hammer down, I bring it down and it expands to the metal. Now I've already got a thicker outside edge. Cracking the toe. Bring it over. And then tightening it up. And again, tightening it up. So what I'm going to do is get this pucker out on the ground surface, right there in the center. Then I'll come out and run it all the way back on the foot surface. Obviously, this is going to be my outside. I want to have one thing that you have to remember when making a caulk and wedge is this piece is going to be turned up. This piece is going to be pulled out of the surface. So on the medial aspect, you already start with more material just by the way you make the wedge. Come in, pick up your toe. And then I'm going to be pulling with my hammer knife blade. I'm with the edge of the hammer. Now I'm pushing with the hammer, with the edge of the hammer. On a fairly sharp corner, a half blow. Kind of blend that in from this side. I'm going to take and I'm going to hit with the edge of the hammer right here and draw it out like a clip. I got all the height I need. Just ever so slightly start to drop it down and then clean these edges up again. Come in here. What I'm trying to do is make it longer to where when I rasp it, it doesn't become short. I, I want the top to be a nice oval. If I just have it looking pretty and then I go to rasping, the top looks like a dot. Come right here, kind of clean up, and then I get a nice line going there.
flatten everything out. And now that I have some mass in my wedge, I want to get my weight bearing in my heel back. So I just kind of make it mushroom to the hammer. And then coming up from the floor. Pull your hammer towards you. I'm just trying to establish some nice weight bearing there. And if I just do it from the top all the time, this won't ever mushroom back out again. Take a quick rasp and heat and clean my wedge. A wedge is always easier to make in the straight with a rasp instead of having it hook in, it's hard to see. Come across the corner and blend that in. That's your heel check. Flatten that up in front, get a nice line. Remember, whatever you do with height with your wedge, you want it pretty much parallel with your heel cock where I'm gonna pick up my toe so I don't have to touch the edge of the anvil. Hold it out here, kind of sweeten it up just ever so slightly. Now I have the perfect material for a heel cock. I'm hitting the sides, I'm hitting the base primarily on the outside, I'm hitting the top primarily, I'm hitting everything but the primary point of contact is right here, kind of get you a nice soft spot, half blow, pull like you're water skiing and, hit, and hit, get that set down. Now come in here, I'm going to, what I'm doing is for as much as my frog kicks in, I'm going to kick out my, my branch. So if I have a wide foot, a wide frog, I'll kick this out to get it in line with travel more. Kind of clean up my toe, grab a little piece of it, run down, and then I'm just going to run down the branch, get some of that forging out of the way. You can hold it here as well because now I got this branch out of the way off of the face and I can come in here and get a good half blow on there. Then we come in, focus on the top on the inside, the bottom on the outside. Lean it back a little bit. Now this hammer is going to hit the back edge and pull towards you. You can feel it locked down. This is just kind of always getting that edge nice and then I go to running my edge on my branch. The heel cock's off the face of the anvil, and so now I can run this edge, and that makes a really nice, clean outside edge on that, sh that branch. You can see I've got the leading part of the heel cock leaning forward, which that's not a bad place to be because now I can really work on that upper just by hitting this corner right here. That gets everything out of the way, gets everything nice and crisp on the inside edge. Come in here.
Now we got everything. We've got the shoe pretty sorted out. Now I'm just gonna rasp up the heel cock. You're gonna have this line and you're trying to make a line that goes right to the edge of the heel cock. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm putting a line there. This is very important when you put it on, on the horn when you bend your branch that you just come to that line and it gives you a line to come to. What I've got in this shoe is I've got two training wheels. I've got two little toe quarters that I've signified as the beginning of my toe and the start of my branch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find the heel quarter and I'm gonna bend it around. I'm pushing down with my tongs. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick, pull, and I'm gonna hit that toe quarter. And then come around. I just, I just got rid of that and I'm coming out of the toe now and now I'm just making a nice shape. You can see I've taken that toe quarter out but you can see where the toe quarter is. That's my training wheel and that's what I'll take out on the next side. And it's important not to let that medial branch hook underneath, so I'm going to push with my tong hand. See how that never gets lower than the level with ground, or parallel to the ground. Now I've got, I've got this big toe quarter. I'm going to go right through that and go right on out to the heel, and then straighten this back up again. I'm going to keep doing that. Just kind of... Now I'm wide, so what I'll do, put it in between, somewhere in between my toe and my heel, and just narrow up the shoe. That toe is so thick, you, it's done, it's forged. It's not gonna ever be bent or turned. kind of tightening up that top edge because I know it's going to mushroom out. Start straight. Always start straight. Get a little ways into it and your gut feeling should be is it going fine or is it going coarse or is it all right? I can pitch it more if I want. Run all my edges. Run the back side. Run the, run the back, the, the ground, the foot surface edge. Run the front edge, the ground surface. Run this back edge again, get it nice and flat. And then one more time with a head stamp. And this head stamp is a little bit smaller than what I'll use to finish it out with. Focus on the same spot. Bend your knees and get your shoulder where it's just right and then just drop your hammer. Stay behind, stay at the base. Clean up my edges, go away from the heel quarter or the bridge, go right on through the toe clip, come on around the outside. Make sure not to hit the inside edge of your heel cock on the corner of the horn and then just come here and ever so lightly after it's above so your inside edge of your heel cock doesn't hit, I'm just going to 
And that brings that branch around, it follows around. Flatten it up. You can feel when it's making contact with the whole anvil, getting that wedge nice. Very last thing, it kind of flatten up those caulk and wedge, and then just push out your edges on your, your nail holes. <laughs> 